There's a service that Adobe has called Browser Lab, which is at browserlab.adobe.com. And there's a free Dreamweaver extension that you can download for Dreamweaver to automatically run that. So what I want to do at this point is we want to see this first before we fix it. Let's choose the file menu, preview in browser, and if you've installed the plugin, you'll see Adobe Browser Lab. I'm going to select this right from within Dreamweaver. If you have the Dreamweaver plugin, this is going to allow you to use the Browser Lab against a site project you have on your local computer. Otherwise, Browser Lab will test live web pages or web pages you put up on a testing server. First, let me sign in. Use my Adobe ID, click Login. Switch back to the Browser Lab panel, click Preview. Now let's switch over to our web browser. So here we have Browser Lab up, and we can see this is the site we're actually working in in Dreamweaver. By default, mine's coming up with Firefox running on Windows XP. I'm going to click this menu and come down to Browser Sets, and I'm going to choose the IE6, 7, and 8 profile. Once I select that, you'll see Browser Lab is now loading up Internet Explorer 6 and Internet Explorer 7 down below. So here it is, IE6, and we can see right away the site index is actually indented much further to the left than what we should see and what we were seeing in the preview for Dreamweaver. Under Page View, I'm going to come down to 2-Up View, so I can see IE7 on the right and IE6 on the left. Let's scroll over to the right-hand side. And I can see that in IE7, I don't have that problem, and I do have the problem in IE6. Let's take a look at two other browsers. Default browser set, Firefox XP, which renders exactly how we would expect. And again, we have IE7 on the right-hand side. So in order to fix this, let's switch back to Dreamweaver. And we can fix this by making a real quick change. Let's double click on the double float margin bug. And if I double click here, you'll notice it actually highlights up in my page area telling me exactly which div it is that the uh, change needs to be made in. And there's another thing you might have noticed floating around when I move my cursor inside of Dreamweaver. If I get my cursor inside of an area and I just hover for a second, this will bring up a feature in Dreamweaver called the Code Navigator. It pops up right here. If I click this, this will actually let me navigate specifically to an area and jump me directly into my CSS in order to make a change. So we want to change banner right, so I'm going to select that right here. That's actually going to jump me into the style sheet and bring me right into the code for banner right. So I could either change this in the visual tool that we've been using the whole time, or I can just make a quick type change in here. What I'm going to do is instead of setting the margin right, I'm going to set the padding right. Click on source code for our page. Click in design view. Let's run our compatibility again. And now we have no errors. Let's go to browser lab. Let's preview this again. We'll give Dreamweaver a second to upload this to the site. Switch to our browser. Let's go back to our browser set of IE 6, 7, and 8. We'll leave it in 2-up view. Now we can see IE 6 aligns where we would expect, and IE 7 aligns where we would expect. So let's close this. Let's go back to Dreamweaver. Let's close our compatibility. Let's close the browser lab. Now at this point, we're ready to turn this into a template. 